Hey everybody, it's Steve with More Simple DMX. In this video, I wanted to talk more about iPads and DMX lights and how you can wirelessly run your rig with an iPad and simple software. It's a great way to remotely control a show. I want to show you exactly how to set up the interface, a variety of different apps on the iPad, and then my favorite app, which is Vibrio, I want to show how you can set up a show, how you can add scenes to a show, sequences, this is a sequence running right now, and then finally, how you can control everything with a simple MIDI controller plugged into the iPad. When I set up my first DMX interface, I had a lot of problems because it was pretty technical. I want to show you a really simple way to do it. Step one, you need to get a simple interface. This is an eDMX1 Pro. It's one of the least expensive interfaces out there and it's the simplest and they also have really great uh, tech support. Um, so it's just a very, very simple little box that has an ethernet connector and it has a USB port. And it just comes in this little box with a USB cable. The USB port is just to uh, power it up. That's step one. Get the right interface, make it simple for yourself. Step two is you need to get a router. So I got an inexpensive one on Amazon. I got this Netgear N300. It works with the iPad. Kind of little white plasticky cheap thing. It comes with a ethernet cable, just a little power supply. All you need to do is connect the ethernet cable from the back of the interface. You can see it's blinking now um, because it's plugged in. And then you plug it into the LAN port on the router. Not the WAN port, but the LAN port. But if you do that, that's about as simple as it gets. And plug in the router. Then all you have to do is start up your iPad and the Netgear Genie is going to come up. It's going to try and configure the router for the internet, but you're not plugged into the internet. So what's going to happen is it's going to say you're not connected to the internet. Do you want Netgear Genie to help? And I said yes, because no did not work. And then eventually it's going to say no ethernet cable is plugged into the router internet port. So then you just choose use without internet and then you're good to go. After I went through that entire net genie sequence twice, made me do it twice, and now every time I start the iPad, that network is available to the iPad without all that hassle. So you've got your router plugged in to your interface. Now you go to your iPad. The iPad is wirelessly connected to the router, which is connected via ethernet to the little interface. And the last step, is the interface has a DMX connection. Um, you can get a three pin or a five pin, but I got a three pin. And you connect in your interface with the DMX cable that goes to your rig and you're completely ready to launch your iPad app. There's a lot of different apps that run on the iPad. Luminaire is the most popular one. It has the most professional features. It's up to version three now. I had version two, but it was $100 to upgrade it to version three. So that's something to keep in mind if you go with that program. A lot of other the apps are less expensive. There's Photon that has a built-in sequencer, RTS DMX. There's a program called Light Rider, but I'm using Vibrio. I really like Vibrio. It's free for 16 DMX channels for $40. You can get 256 DMX channels. I think that's gonna be enough for all my needs. So I wanna show you how I have my rig set up because you have to have the fixtures in Vibrio set up to match the fixtures in your rig. So I've got four moving headlights. They're nine channel lights set to a starting address of one. Four par 64 lights. I've got the first two set up to a starting address of 10, the second two set up to a starting address of 16, and then I've got three spider beam lights 
Those are 10 channel fixtures. I've got those set to a starting address of 22. So I have the fixtures in Vibrio set up to match this rig, and I show you how to do that in my first iPad to DMX video. All right, to start off with Vibrio, let's open it up. And the first thing we can do when it opens is we can check the connection status and see that it's connected to Netgear 26. Uh, so we know that we're good with our connection. And on the main page, these are what Vibrio calls shows. So to make a new show, you hit the plus and you can duplicate that show. You can export it. And when you export it, it allows you to export it via email or Dropbox or a variety of different ways. You can pick a different color for it to help you keep organized or you can delete it. I'm going to delete this one too. So here's a show that I've created called Main Show. And in it, I have folders and scenes that I've created. So when you hit the plus, you have a choice of either creating a sequence, a scene, or a folder. So we'll create a scene. And in this scene, we will hit edit. We'll see all the fixtures that were created in Vibrio to match the rig behind me. So I'm going to pick the mini moving heads and I can adjust the tilt and pan of them and I can, with the dimmer, adjust the colors and once I have a scene that I like, I can tap this, I can rename it, and I've added a new scene to my show. You can add folders to your show. I'm going to show you how to do that. So when you open a folder, you can take any of the scenes that you've created and just drag them into the folder. And these folders that I've created show how many scenes or sequences are in each folder. So for example, I've put all the scenes with my spider lights and my spider light chases. So for example, Here's a chase that I set up on the spider and go back. I've got my washes in this folder and so on. Okay, let so me show you how you can create chases or uh, sequences as they're called in Vibrio. So we're going to hit add. We're going to hit sequence. We're going to edit and Let's name this uh, Mover Sequence. And here you see all the scenes that we have available to us that we've created. So I'm going to hit Red Mover Down, and then I'll put uh, Green Mover Up, and then I'll put Blue Mover Down. So now we've got three uh, scenes in our sequence and we can go ahead and adjust the fade and hold time. Let's make the fade time two seconds and let's apply that to all scenes. And now you can see each one of the scenes cycling through the sequence and we can loop it or bounce it. And um, let's go back. So we've made a sequence uh, for the movers. Let's make a sequence for the spiders. We're going to make another sequence here. We're going to edit. And this one we will make uh, blue spiders out. And let's make red spider in. This will be a very simple uh, sequence or chase. We'll name that Spider Sequence. Now we've got the Mover Sequence. 
and we've got the spider sequence. We could make a sequence with the washes too, but they're more interesting with the moving lights. And now what's really cool is when you go to scene layering in the settings and we go back, we can actually layer these scenes together. So I've got the spiders moving and I can add the movers chase to that. And they're up in the now playing sequence. You can turn them off up here and turn them on and off down here in this pane. Okay, now I want to show you how you can take a inexpensive little MIDI controller. This is a uh, Korg Nano control and it's just plugged into the, the lightning port with a USB connector and you can actually teach Vibrio uh, to learn MIDI commands. So let's take the sequences that we just programmed. Uh, we'll take the mover sequence that we just did and we'll hit edit and up here you'll see MIDI. When you hit that MIDI connection it'll say mappings and if we just move this fader, you'll see that it's mapped it now to that key. So we're going to say done for that and we'll go back and then we'll open the spider uh, chase. We'll do edit, we'll hit MIDI and we will map it to this fader. Now when we go back we can, using the faders, fade these chases or sequences up. And when we go to the scene layering and then come back, now we can bring in this chase and we can layer in this chase on top of it and we have independent control of different chases. And you could add as many as you want. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see some more videos about iPads controlling DMX lights, subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.